be life. He can tell your lie, ni. He be life. He don't know he lo jewa lo So this morning we are starting from the world of Champions League. A lot of matches that was played yesterday and a, a, a lot of uh, uh, shocking results also coming from the world of Champions League. Yesterday, Dynamo Zagreb took Chelsea by defeating them one goal to nothing. The first goal was scored by Minislav Osic in the 13 minutes and Chelsea was struggling all through the game and also uh, the champion uh, defeated Celtic by 3 goals to, to 90 goals scored by a uh, 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 junior or uh, ventures and also uh, goals scored by Luka Modric and Edin Hazard. It was uh, an interesting one yesterday and also uh, PSG defeated Juventus uh, by 2 goals to 1 uh, goal scored uh, by the I mean, Karim Mbappe, two goals scored by him yesterday. It was indeed a very interesting game. Also, moving away from uh, football this morning, also, we talk about tennis. Uh, you know, uh, the US Open is still ongoing, and currently, we are at the quarterfinals. Uh, matches played yesterday. A shocking result also coming uh, yesterday, uh, where we have the likes of uh, Nick Kyrgios. I'm losing his game yesterday. <laughs> Like I said, uh, Kasparov uh, defeated Matteo Berrettini uh, yesterday in the three-state straight. Uh, and also, us Japan, the only African woman uh, currently in this tournament, also has proceeded to the semi-final of this tournament. Uh, also, early hours of today, uh, Carola Gasha defeated Coco Gauff uh, uh, in a two-straight set. Uh, and Nick Kyrgios, uh, the man informed, the man we are tipping for this uh, particular tournament, also uh, lost uh, his game early hours of today. And away from that, uh, we talked about our Super Falcons yesterday. They were defeated uh, by two goals to one. Uh, on goal scored by uh, the, uh, the former captain of the Super Falcons, I mean, Falcon, uh, Tosi Dimeni. It uh, was an own goal in the 24 minutes. And also, Carlo gave us uh, a recolizer. But then, uh, uh, the Super Falcons lost uh, the second uh, friendly match against the United States of America. Also, uh, the former captain of Super Ego, uh, Vincent Nyama, We'll be making a return to the MPFL. Uh, where is it going to? We're going to give you all the details uh, in this particular show. And also, Bayesa Queen also have qualified for the Champions League uh, when it comes to the Women One African Champions League, uh, which will be taking up in, in Morocco. And in athletics, uh, a, a Grace uh, Omo coach was suspended, uh, and the country is risking uh, to lose the Commonwealth Gold. These are many more stories that we'll be giving you this morning. I'm not alone in the studio. I have a friend, a brother, a, a, a good analyst, a Chelsea person, if, if I must say, uh, David Ibigami. David Ibigami, uh, good morning to you. Yeah, um, good morning to you. Um, good morning to our esteemed viewers as well. I mean, it's another time to uh, talk about uh, all the latest and the big games news making the rounds of the world of sports. Um, yeah, we saw some exciting matches played in the UEFA Champions League yesterday. I mean, we saw Chelsea uh, actually losing to Dynamo Zagreb. I mean, it was it, it was not a good one for Chelsea yesterday. I mean, they considered it the 30 minutes and they, 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 they were not able to actually uh, get the equalizer uh, up on uh, up until the 90 minutes before the match ended yesterday. Not so good for Chelsea. Uh, not so good for uh, Dumont Suchel. He needs to uh, actually talk to his boss. Maybe the boys are not uh, actually um, willing to play for, for him anymore. I mean, they should actually find out uh, uh, what the, the problem is. Yeah, the reason why he's losing right now. And the champions yesterday, I mean, Madrid. I mean, the, 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 the game uh, actually was actually interesting. I mean, it was it was goalless in the first half. I mean, uh, Real Madrid came in, 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 
the second half to actually get three goals. I mean, a good one for Eden Hazard, uh, got, getting a, a good and an assist yesterday, and a beautiful uh, goal from Luka Modric yesterday. All around performance from Real Madrid, but um, the most um, shocking and the most uh, um, um, shocking one yesterday is um, um, Karim Benzema is actually injured, and we don't we don't know uh, how much how how time how long, long uh, will uh, it will take and Karim Benzema to actually come back. And to the world of US Open as well. Shocking results um, yesterday and earlier this morning. I mean, Nicky Ross is out. I mean, Mario Berrettini is out. And it's looking like uh, all the younger ones will actually win um, the US right. Open. Yeah, Kaspar Road, yeah. Carlos Zacharas. It's looking like they will, they will actually be the ones to actually win the US but Open. Then, but then we still have the number two. Uh, um, uh, Ruble, Ruble. Ruble, yeah, you still have number two and Ruble, but it's not, it's not actually, it's not cast in stone that we actually win this uh, competition. And to the Tunisia as well, good one for her. I mean, um, she's making Africa proud. Um, she's put it to the semi final. Not so good for Kodi Gugov, but we actually talk about that during the show. Right uh, away from uh, David Ibami this morning. Let's go straight to the world of tennis where we give you all the latest results uh, coming from the US Open. Uh, the quarter finals were played uh, yesterday and early hours of today. And uh, later today, also, we have some couple of matches that will be coming up. And later tomorrow, also, we we'll conclude the quarter, fi- I mean, the quarter finals of the US Open. Yesterday, Casper Roy defeated Mario Berrettin, like I said earlier, in a 3 straight set, 6 1, 6 4, 7 6. It was indeed uh, an interesting one. And Casper Roy currently has presented to the semi final of this year US Open. Uh, in the women's center, we have the only African, uh, uh, Osjabon, defeated an opponent in a 2 straight set, uh, 6 4, 7 6. Uh, it was indeed a great one for her also. This is her first time proceeding to, the, I mean, to this particular stage when it comes to the world of U.S. Open. But then uh, we have to give her all the kudos uh, as she deserves and all the support needed from African countries also. And uh, in the early hours of today, uh, Coco Gov lost to Carolina, um, Carolina Garcia in the two stresses also. 6374. It was indeed a, a good one for her, but the American lost uh, after, after defeating uh, Madison Keys, uh, and we were tipping her for uh, the semi final. But then uh, she lost a very, very tough opponent, aggressive one for that matter. Uh, Rina Gasha. And also, earlier uh, of this morning, it was shocking when I got the news uh, that Nick Curious, the man informed the bad boy of tennis, uh, also lost to Karim Chichalov in a five set. It was indeed a battle uh, from these two guys uh, in the uh, in the four set. Uh, uh, Nick Kyrgios lost the fourth set, he came back in the second set, he lost the third set, uh, he won the uh, fourth and lost the last set, and that was the end of Nick Kyrgios. Uh, and today, we are expecting a lot of fireworks from the world of, I mean, tennis. This t- Today, we have uh, the likes of Robert, world number two, will be taking uh, his opponent also. We have Car- uh, Carlos Akaraz also, will be on set today. Also, world number one female tennis player, Iga Swatek will be hosting uh, Jessica Pegula in a very interesting encounter to watch out for. Uh, David, if I may ask you, what are your predictions uh, uh, to this uh, for the final stages? Yeah, for me, I mean, let's take a look at um, the fixtures for the men. I mean, Andrew Robleff against uh, Francis Tiafo. I mean, looking at Francis Tiafo in this competition, um, it was one who knocked out um, um, Rafael Nadal um, in the um, last 16. And um, Andy Robleff has been doing well in this competition as well. So this will be an exciting match between the two of them. But um, if, I, if, if I should predict who will actually win between two of them, I, I, will, I will actually give it to um, Francis Tiafo to actually uh, edge this uh, um, against Andy Robleff. Maybe a, a, four, a four setter or a five setter, but I feel... Francis Tiafoe will actually make it to the uh, semi-final. And to the second um, semi-final game in the ATP session today, we have y- uh, Yannick Sina against Carlos Alcaraz. I mean, Carlos Alcaraz has been in bad form. Uh, I'm just looking as if, uh, if we should get to the final of this competition, they will actually make the number one uh, um, ranking uh, um, this year. So I feel for, uh, for Yannick Sina as well, he has been doing well. I mean, to get to this stage of the competition is not, is, is not actually uh, easy. It's, it's, not actually, it's not actually it's easy one for... for, for yeah, uh, competing with a, a lot of stars. But I feel, um, you know, Carlos Alcaraz will actually edge this one um, against Anixina as well. So I'm tipping Carlos Alcaraz to actually win against Anixina. And to the, t- um, to the WTA section, Iga Swatek, the world number one against Jessica Pegulia. Uh, I feel Iga Swatek will actually nick this one against Jessica Pegulia. Um, Iga Swatek has been informed um, ever since... 
the beginning of this year and she's actually looking um maybe she will actually um, get a uh, first grand slam in the u.s open i mean she's won two french open and maybe she will actually add to the to the grand slam she has won so i feel igaswatek will actually um edge this out against jessica pegulia and to the second semi-final game in the w2a section as well carolina Pliskova against arena sabalenka uh, i feel um sabalenka i mean they've known each other they've been they've, they've, they've been there in, the, in this in this in this w2a section so i feel the experience will actually count, but um, Ari Lance Abalenka, I'm tipping out to actually um, qualify and move through to the semi final of this competition. Okay, let's talk about uh, the only African uh, representative in this uh, US, which is us, Japan, uh, uh, looking at a process from the fourth state to this uh, particular state uh, that, 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 that she was now currently. And uh, talking from a past, I mean, record. This is the first time I'm going this far. Uh, and what do you see to uh, us, Japan? Coming? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not actually surprised. I mean, um, actually surprised. I'm not surprised. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. No, I'm, I'm not surprised. I mean, she got to the Wimbledon final, but she was unlucky to actually win the competition and then get to the U.S. Open semi-final. I'm not actually surprised about her uh, achievement so far. I mean, she's been knocking since last year. Uh, uh, I mean, she got into some quarter-final stages. I mean, the round of 16 stages, and um, uh, and she's uh, she has been developing ever since then. So I feel getting to the uh, semi-final of, of this competition. Is actually a good one for her. I mean, the the the, the only way girl um, I'm actually looking at that will actually stop um the Ons Jamba is the world number one Iga Swatek. That's to see if Iga Swatek will actually get to the final of this competition. So I feel Ons Jamba, Ons Jamba, she's been doing well in this competition. So uh, we hope uh, as an African, maybe she will actually uh, get to win uh, a major first Grand Slam uh, in the, in the world of uh, in the world of tennis. Well, good one for her. Uh, good one for her development. Uh, maybe she will actually get to win her first Grand Slam. Time we tell. Time we tell, but then uh, we hope to see several African players also. I mean, getting to this stage, but then uh, uh, we, ne we never can tell. Uh, but let's talk about I mean, Kasparoid and Matteo Berrettini. Uh, it was indeed a very good one, and in the semi final, uh, uh, we are, we are hope to see a uh, Kasparoid playing the semi final of this year's years. What do you say to that? Yeah, I mean, when I saw the results, shocking, shocking for me. <laughs> TV street set against <laughs> Mario Berrettini. Like, like the TV street set was 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 just too easy i mean uh, he won six one in the fourth set i mean uh too shocking for me uh mario benettini didn't actually do well yesterday and he has uh, performing in this yeah this and tournament. he we, mario benettini has been performing the, in this tournament as well and going on for casper road um he's also is actually hoping to actually get to the world number one um, ranking as well if if he actually gets to the final of this stage and carlos akaras didn't actually make it to the final as well so uh, uh getting to the semi-final of this stage i mean good one for him good one for his development as well um, he's actually facing a tougher opponent in Kari uh, Kachanov, uh, who actually defe defeated in, uh, um, in, 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 the in, in the early hours of this morning. So I feel um, the semi final match will actually play will actually be a difficult one to the one we actually played in, 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 in the quarter final as well. So uh, uh, um, uh, maybe if we actually proceed to, this, uh, to the final uh, uh, time at all, but uh, getting to the semi final of, of, of this stage of the, of the competition is a very good one for, for, for Kaspar Road. <laughs> away from tennis this morning we get straight uh, to the camp of Bajesa Queen uh, uh, currently that's the only uh, team that we have when it comes to our favorite team that is representing Nigeria in the Cup Champions League when it comes to the women I mean uh, department when it comes to football in Africa uh, Bayesa Queen has beaten uh, their Ghanaian opponent in the Jolok Derby and like we said although uh, our Chan Eagles lost to the uh, Ghanaian Kandaba but then uh, uh, Bayesa Queen are making us proud you know judging from the past they, they've given us quality players uh, we, we have the lives of monday gift uh, we have the uh, lives of uh, uh, esther uh, no, we have um, Florence Sebastian well, now. Sebastian, yeah, 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 I'm doing well, doing well in Bayesa United. Yeah, for Bayesa United, they've been making us proud uh, um, in this competition. I mean, uh, we saw them actually winning 6 0 in this competition as well. So, yeah, I'm um, defeating the uh, um, Ghanaian opponents. Actually, uh, we, are getting, uh, we are getting this one right uh, against the Ghanaian. I mean, uh, we suffered a lot uh, uh, in the hands <laughs> of these Ghanaians. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, they, they, they were the ones that actually, didn't actually um, let Nigeria actually qualify for the World Cup. Yes. And then uh, um, defeating Nigeria the Chan Eagles as well, not allowing them to qualify for the Chan tournament, which will actually take place in Morocco next day. So, no, uh, we, we, not so good, uh, good one for yeah, good one for Bayesa United. Uh, getting to the uh, group stage of the uh, of the Champions League, uh, um, Nigerian opponents um, are actually doing well in this competition. Uh, we, we, was, we saw the Bas United qualifying last year in this competition as well. So, Bayesa United are also following um, the steps, the full steps of Rivers United uh, as they did last year. So, good one for them. I'm hoping they will actually perform in the group stage of this competition. Uh, I don't know if they will win because 
be half of our opponents in, the, in in this competition yeah, as well. So yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. The, the, if, the, if they can actually get to the to the latter stages of, of this competition, it will be a very good one for them. It will be a very good one for Nigeria as well. Very good one for 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 for, for me for boy in Nigeria. Uh, we hope they get all the support needed uh, for this particular tournament. Uh, support from the state government, uh, the federal government, and all Nigerians to support our uh, Bayesa because currently uh, they're making us part away. Uh, from Baisa Queen straight to the camp of the Super Falcon. I mean, Falcon. Uh, yesterday they lost their second Eda friendly match against uh, United States of America. It was 2 1. Uh, better from the first result 4 0. Uh, but this time around, uh, the first goal was an own goal scored by uh, Tosin Demi, the, the, the Falcon um, um, captain. captain. And then uh, we got an equalizer. And it took, uh, I mean, the Americans six, six minutes before they can get, I mean, their winner. Uh, do you see that uh, as a good response to the four zero? Yeah, uh, it was a very good response. Um, I, I actually uh, um, um, commented the girls yesterday. They actually uh, um, played well. I mean, um, Coach Randy Wandrum uh, was actually uh, told us um, in, in the first game that there will be an improvement in the second game. And we actually saw that yesterday. Uh, um, they played, um, they showed a class against the United States of America yesterday. Uh, um, we are losing by two goals to one. Uh, a respectable defeat, um, to, to, if I must say, uh, to the Super Falcons yesterday. Yeah, we saw some uh, uh, um, some good players actually playing for for the Super Falcons. Not so good for the for the uh, Falcons for the Falcon Falconets um, 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 captain yesterday. Yeah, uh, that's those in the main um, scoring and no goal yesterday, not so good um, for him. I mean, he's just getting to, to the squad. Yeah, it was not the ability goal, but I mean, we, we all know how a, a no goal can actually uh, um, be, be so hard for, for, for a player to actually um, take. So, for, 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 for her yesterday, not so good for her, but I mean, she actually learned from, from, from this. And, and, and to, the, to the players all, all, all over the pitch yesterday, uh, I would say very good um, job well done yesterday for them. Not losing, uh, not losing scandalous in the second game. Just I mean, like just like the first leg. And it's, it's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. I mean, we saw we saw their counterpart from the South African uh, also losing nine 0 to the to the Brazilian counterpart as well. So, um, very um, good one for Nigeria, not losing like um, the the African champions uh, South Africa yesterday. A lot, a lot of story that will still be coming your way this morning from the studio of EOB Live, and we. And in the city of Ibano, the largest city in West Africa, in case you don't know. Away from female football this morning, I will be getting straight uh, to the camp of the former Super Eagle captain, uh, the former Super Eagle goalkeeper, uh, the one we call Vincent Oyama, one of the best goalkeepers in Japan I've ever had in the history of football, you know, winning MPFL three times, if I'm not mistaken, with Oyama and horse with Cup Champions League and also winning African Nations Cup. He has been representing Nigeria in so many stages, but then he's coming back home now uh, to start from where he, he began, uh, which is the Aqua United. What is it that? Yeah, good one for, for Nigeria football. I mean, uh, one of one of um, the best players to actually come out from the Nigeria Professional Football League, actually coming back home to actually um, play a, again in the Nigeria Professional Football League. I mean, um, um, I think Saint Yama has done so well for Nigerian football. I mean, at some point in time, he won the CAF Champions League back to back with the Inba International. Um, he was part of the winning squad that actually won the African Cup of Nations in yeah, 2013. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, he has won so many caps. Uh, I mean, uh, 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 he's one of the top three players who has won so many caps for Nigeria. So good one for him coming back to the Nigeria Professional Football League. I mean, good one for, 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 for the players. They will actually ne learn more for, for, from him. I mean, he's bringing a lot of experience to our Aqua United team. And for Aqua United as well, they are getting a quality goalkeeper. Uh, though it, it may not have the strength uh, anymore. He's 40, 40, 40 years old, old but the experience, um, the exposure, we actually bring that to the Aqua United team. Okay. Uh, living in Nigeria, I mean, the living football this morning. Straight to Atlantis. Ah, it was a deep, indeed a sad one coming from the world of Atlantis uh, uh, two days ago when we had uh, that one of our athletes in the Commonwealth game. Of our great football culture has been uh, this, I mean, doping scandal. I, I think is a bad one for Nigeria. Judging from the past, you know, we've, we've had issues of Nigerians, I mean, in, in engaging in several doping activities. Uh, but then, uh, the Nigerian Athletic Federation has come out to say they've done several tests for all these athletes 
claiming they, they've done their own part so it's left on the athletes i mean to place it but then i think it's a part of for them and most importantly the enjoyment might be stripped off of that golden uh, of, of, uh, I mean, of good, good, the one good in the four, four, four by four hundred yeah, yeah. women's relay, yeah, and also good for Nigeria. I mean, uh, but for me, I mean, the athletics uh, tradition of Nigeria, I don't want to be blamed if they actually uh, uh, um, think they've for actually. Then, for them, they said they've conducted series of tests, if more than hundred tests. Yeah, if they actually um, done what they actually said. I don't think uh, um, Grace Wokocha, I, I think Grace Wokocha would have been detected before actually going to this competition. Uh, we also what happened to Blessing of Cadbury as well. I mean, she was banned from, yeah, from doping yeah, as well yeah, for, yeah. For, for 10 years and they've even added another one year to it, <laughs> making 11 years as well. So, not so good for Nigeria. I mean, uh, it, it's not so good when Nigeria uh, is, it the bad, uh, 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 is it the bad news uh, almost, every, uh, almost every time. Yeah, I mean, we, we are going to be stripped of the, of the good men that we won uh, at the Commonwealth game uh, that we actually um, celebrate I mean, Nigeria winning the four by four hundred meter relay race for the first time since, since, since only God knows the time. So I feel for 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 Nigeria Athletics Federation of Nigeria, they are the ones to be blamed. Yeah, I, I feel they are the ones to be blamed. Uh, um, they, they, they are the ones that are not taking their job so necessary. I mean, if, if Grace Wokoja has, has, has been tested, tested over has over and over, look, has claimed over and over again. I mean, she would have been detected the right here in Nigeria before going for that competition. So it's not so good for Nigeria. They had one that, that didn't put the the, 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 the right uh, um, hands in index, and they were actually profit from from the wrong things they've done. Okay, okay, but then David, let's let's look it in this angle. You know, uh, now down to the athletes. You know, we are going for an international competition where uh, you'll be thoroughly screened. And as an African, there's this double checking on African athletes. As far as you are coming from, athlete, uh, from Africa, you know, there's this double double check. I uh, take for instance, immediately when I mean, to, 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 uh, uh, Toby Amuso was crowned the champion, the world champion, there were a series of comments coming from the uh, uh, Americans that, ah, this game needs to be tested because it's, a, it's an African. So I, I, I wonder why an African coming to this international scene and you are still involved in this scandal. Uh, was it intentionally or, 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 or what is it? Today? Yeah, it may not, it's may not be intention, intentionally for, 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 for them. I mean, we also was a blessing of Kadbari um, said after he was banned from, from, from participating in any athletics competition. Um, yeah, she actually said um, she didn't actually know um, those drugs. I mean, she took was actually a banned substance that she, she was, it was given to her to actually enhance uh, her body. I mean, you so I feel most, most athletes uh, don't actually know um, the kind of drugs and then the kind of uh, um, drugs they should actually use. I mean, and it's the job of the athletics tradition of the NGI to actually synthesize them, to actually uh, um, uh, um, tell them the kind of drugs, the kind of uh, um, uh, the kind of um, drinks. I mean, the kind of bad substances um, the the IAF are, 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 are banned. So it's, it's the work of the uh, Athletics Federation of Nigeria. Uh, so they've, they've not done their job. So I, I can't blame the, the, this athletes so far. So uh, uh, I, they, they may not know, but uh, uh, yes, they may not know. Yeah, yeah, they may not know. I mean, we we, we all know what um, the other federations over there in Europe, Europe used to do to, to their to, the, to their athletes, and they used to sensitize them. I mean, send emails to 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 to, to them to know to know the kind of bad substance. You know, we, we all know that almost every three months, um, the 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 the, go, the, the body um that's in charge of of of, of, the, of, of, of these bad substances we used to release yeah, yeah. almost all the bad substances that they, they didn't allow. So I feel the 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 um the athletes federation of Nigeria, I I want to be blamed, not the not the athlete, athletes. All right, uh, in case you are just joining us, uh, this is, is the studio of EOB, and we are giving you the Wednesday edition of Sporting Web. We still have a lot to talk about this morning. Uh, World of Champions, like I said, a lot of results came in yesterday and also uh, a lot of pictures for today. And tomorrow also, the Europe, uh, the UEFA Europa League, uh, we can start also with the likes of Arsenal and United will be uh, coming up uh, tomorrow. But then uh, we'll be going on a short commercial break. Uh, and when we come back, uh, we will give you all you need to know about yesterday's game in the World of Champions League. We will give you the details of Chelsea match, uh, Real Madrid match, Juventus match, and the host of others. Uh, but then don't you go away. <laughs> Oh, 
eni to lojo ayeye lono to fe so di man igbagbe te fe bo se lo lowo ki gbo wa yo ma ri lori ero aye lu jara eob mot concept ni bete ni ke epo si loni for your event live streaming and post production with digital video and photo fu ayeye yin to nbo lono yen eyan ni lo gbaju gbaja olore atawon ketra server pelu awon professional osha e ma ronu ibi meji eob mot concept nigeria limited no de ke pe boye yin fe po lowo oja yin tabi ijo olorun yin e kan si eob live online visual and radio be atun le ji agbelun so atasoju fun ile ise yin ka kiri apaye be ba wa nwa tu ko eto iyan mc lodi aria eob mot concept no ni ke ma bo afin da yin loju pa o le ja yin kule aye ye yin ma di money gba pe pelu ere keke fun ekure ri alaye awon ero ba ni soro yin ni ke ma pe 08056683178 tabi 08030405500 Olorun o go ni foruko re pelu eob mot concept limited make your event a memorable one You are still on to Sporting Waves on EOB Live. Uh, and quickly, let's go to uh, Europe yesterday. Uh, a lot of results coming out yesterday, like I said earlier. And uh, Chelsea were, were, were shocked yesterday. They were defeated with embarrassed. Uh, even though his one goes to nothing, but then is a big embarrassment considering the fact that Chelsea has spent a lot of money in this I mean, current transfer. They had the third highest spending in the whole of Europe. And then yesterday, uh, yes, they were struggling uh, when it comes to uh, uh, Dynamo Zagreb. It was indeed an embarrassing one for Chelsea and indeed a dangerous one for them also. Goal scored by Miss Love Osage in the 13 minutes and all through the game Chelsea was struggling to the end of the game as well Borussia Dortmund defeated Copenhagen by three goals to nothing we saw the likes of Mark Royce scoring in that particular encounter and also Jude Billiam scoring to make it 3-0 in that particular encounter uh, it looks like uh, Borussia Dortmund are getting back uh, to their form and also we have the likes of AC Milan uh, getting a draw against FC Salzburg yesterday it was 1-1 uh, uh, draw yesterday in a very interesting and emphatic game 1-1 intended uh, we have the likes of Noah Okafo scoring uh, for Salzburg yesterday it was indeed a very interesting match and the champions uh, the champions are ready to defend the title this season as they defeated Celtic Glasgow by three goals to nothing the man in form Vinicius Junior scored the first goal before we saw Luka Modric score uh, the second goal with a brief assist uh, by Edin Hazard and the third goal yesterday was scored by the, the man people have been complaining about the captain of Belgium national team uh, Edin Hazard score uh, his first Champions League goal uh, yesterday for Real Madrid and also Chata Dunez defeated RB Lesbian by four goals to one in the home of RB Lesbian. That was incredible, a, a crazy result yesterday also. But then uh, this is Champions League football. A lot of things can happen to you if you are not serious. Benfica also got uh, a win as expected by two goals to nothing uh, yesterday. It was indeed an interesting one also. Then Paris Saint-Germain, <laughs> they also big money spending when it comes to the world of football. Paris Saint-Germain with the host of uh, Mpape, with the host of uh, Neymar and Messi yesterday, combining together to defeat Juventus. Uh, two goals to nothing. Two goals scored by Karim Mpape and also assisted by Neymar. It was indeed a, a very good start uh, for them. Uh, we, we, hope, we hope to see them going far this season. But then I said it earlier in this uh, particular show that uh, PSG are one of the best when it comes to the group stage. But then m m moving forward, it might be a, a, a little bit dif um, difficult for them. But then yesterday, City, uh, the blue side of Manchester, defeated Sevilla by four goals to nothing. Our first goal by, scored by the man in form, the, <laughs> the current goal scorer there's always banging goals uh, for City yesterday. I'm talking about Ellen Haaland scoring two goals in that particular encounter and also Foden getting one 
and uh, Ruben Diaz also getting one. It was indeed uh, a, a great one for City. Uh, up all looks for City because this season we are open and tipping them to I mean to get their chapel, their first chapel league trophy. Yeah, good one for them in yesterday, starting on a winning note. I mean, uh, Melian and um, getting on the score sheet and banging in two goals yesterday, and also for Foden as well. I mean, um, supplying to an assist and getting yeah. a goal um, yeah. yesterday as well. Ruben Diaz back back in the squad and getting a goal as well. Good one for Pep, Pep Guardiola team. I mean, he has been struggling to actually get to win the UEFA Champions League with Manchester City and having a striker like Eli Bosaland yesterday uh, in that team presently. I mean, um, it's looking um, it's looking like Pep Guardiola uh, Manchester City side uh, 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 looking free free to actually uh, um, win the UEFA Champions League um, this season. I mean, not so good for Sevilla yesterday. Their <laughs> coach um, Julian Lopetegui is under pressure right now. I mean. Uh, um, they were trashed yesterday by four goals to nothing by uh, Manchester City at their home ground, and it's looking like um, uh, Junior Lupetegi um, will actually get the sacking of, of the board very soon. Uh, not, not so good for him. And for for Manchester City, I hope they will actually perform well in their subsequent games. They are, they have an easy, easy group. I mean, they, they are in the group with yeah, Borussia yeah. Dortmund and Copenhagen yesterday, so they will actually progress out of this group. And actually, I feel they will top this group as well. Okay, uh, let's talk about our PSD currently. Yesterday, uh, combining uh, the works of Neymar. Messi and Mbappe together in a forming partnership and also getting their win against the, the famous Juventus yesterday. Uh, it was not really expected for though, you know, we are playing uh, against the likes of the old ladies, uh, although we are playing in your own ground, but then uh, we are playing against uh, a, a team with uh, a wealth of experience like Juventus, uh, you know, it's going to be a difficult one, but then uh, PSG got their win. Yeah, they got they got a win yesterday. A massive results for Paris Saint Germain yesterday. They got two early goals um, from coming from um, Kylian Mbappe yesterday. And al also, I mean, Juventus came back in the second half. A mistake, a howler from from their goalkeeper. Uh, that's um, Gianluigi Donnarumma. I mean, allowing Weston McKenney to actually get back to actually get to go back for Juventus in that game. All around performance from um, from Paris Saint Germain yesterday. Um, they, were, they were they were so good. I mean, they should have gotten three or three or more goals yesterday as well. I mean, Kylian Mbappe was actually so wasteful yesterday. <laughs> I mean, there, there were some positions you should actually have uh, 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 actually uh, uh, passed, uh, uh, yeah, converted some chances and also actually make some assists um, to his counterpart. That's um, Neymar that's about the junior, but he opted to actually shoot by himself. So, on our performance of Paris Saint Germain today, they did well. I mean, getting a well reserved victory for, for them. For Juventus, not so good for them. Losing their first game in the UEFA Champions League this season. Now, for Massimiliano Allegri, the pressure, the pressure um, is mounting on him to actually get the result um, for Juventus this season. Um, I, I hope they will, they will do well in their, in their subsequent matches i mean um, they are in the, the, the yeah they, they are in a group uh, uh, where they, they they should be actually qualifying they, they should be actually qualifying behind paris saint germain because i feel paris saint, paris saint germain will actually be the one to actually top this group and i and, and i feel um juventus will actually um, um, um follow them and, and actually qualify out of this group so not so good for them losing their first game but i hope they will actually win their subsequent matches to actually progress out from this group okay we hope they win their subsequent matches uh, so that they can proceed uh, out of this group but then uh, we have to talk about in kenya Mbappe attitude, you know, he actually give a ball to his fellow team, but, but then uh, uh, yeah, uh, we reach uh, he change his attitude and so that the, the team can progress. Although if he continue like this, I'm uh, um, smelling danger uh, ahead in the tougher matches. But then uh, we go straight to the London side. Uh, we're talking about Chelsea Football Club, uh, one of the highest spenders in the whole of Europe. I'm uh, spending a lot of money when it comes to the defense department, but then they, they keep considering go every day, every match. Uh, it has been an embarrassing season for them, if you must take it. Uh, but then we have to talk about Thomas Tuchel. Uh uh, that is, this is, I think uh, it's currently out of idea. Did you see it that way also? No, I, I, don't, I don't see it that way. I feel he's actually trying his best, but it's actually um, the players are the ones to be blamed right now. Let's take a look at the game yesterday. I feel um, he actually um, changed the static yesterday. Um, they were so um, attacking, he, he made use of so many attacking players yesterday. Um, he actually made use, made use of one defensive player yesterday, that's Matthew Kovacic. And there were so many attacking players in that game yesterday, like Missy Mons. We had Missy Mons in that game, we had Kayabas in that game, we had Raheem Sterling in that game. I mean, we have Perry or Bomeyang in that game and we have the likes of um the, the Rich James and, and Ben Chiwell who, 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 who on the normal day we actually provide support for, for the attacking players yesterday but it was, it was not supposed to be yesterday for Chelsea. I mean the players are the ones to be blamed and maybe maybe they are tired to actually play for the for the manager right now. I don't know but Thomas Schuchel should actually look for a way out so actually um talks to the boy. I mean yesterday he was he, he was so angry he was talking about the lack of determination for the for the boys uh, he said the boys are not actually angry to get results yesterday. So I, I they are not a gap I mean they are they are not so passionate to actually get results. They are not playing for the badge of, uh, of Chelsea Football Club. So I feel the, the, the attitude of the players are the, are, 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 are the reason why Chelsea are actually low. 
losing lo, lo, losing um, games uh, uh, of, of, of reasons right now. So I feel for 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 Thomas Tuchel, he's done his best. He's done he's done his best, and it's looking like the pressure the pressure is mounting on him as well. I mean, the Americans, uh, I, I, I don't I don't see them I don't see them. Uh, um, um, T- tolerating this kind of results almost every time they, I mean they spent a huge uh, amount of money in the transfer window spending almost 28 million pounds I mean no other club in the Premier League actually spent as long as this season so they actually they are, they are eager to get results from from the from the, from, the, from, from, from Thomas Tuchel's side and if the results uh, aren't coming so uh, I feel Thomas Tuchel will actually get um, the sack uh, for, from the board okay let's leave uh, the Chelsea uh, attitude now let's go to the uh, Thomas Tuchel status currently uh, uh, some are saying that a lot of players in that Chelsea squad need a lot of rest. Uh, talking about Messi, month this season he has not been doing well. Uh, talking about uh, Kai Havert also he has not been putting his best on, on, on the field of play. Uh, talking about Christian Pulisic as a substitution, people are feeling is not adding to the team. Uh, talking about uh, uh, Broja also, people are complaining that he's not been giving the chances. Uh, let's talk about uh, Riz James yesterday. A uh, couple of chances that, that he created yesterday, but there was nobody to, to convert the goal. And also, talking about one of their summer signing, uh, Ram Sterling, losing ball several times, uh, uh, making some move unnecessarily and all that. Uh, what do you see to these tactics currently? Changes formation in the field of play. Do you think these, are, these things are not affecting uh, the player's psychology? Yeah, it, 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 it is affecting the players. I mean, um, let's take a look at them yesterday. I mean, um, Thomas Uche actually uh, um, in, in the first game of the season, he opted for a 3-4-3 uh, formation and it was not actually working at the start of the season. And actually opted for a 4-3-3 as well. I mean, it's not also working yesterday. Yesterday, he opted for a 4 2 3 one formation as well. And it's not also working for, for, for Chelsea as well. So, I feel uh, um, it's not about the tactics. I feel the players uh, need some rest. The likes of missing Mount. I mean, uh, he has played so many games and he's looking like he's out of sorts to actually, to actually getting goals for Chelsea. I mean, um, um, Raheem Sterling yesterday was not the Raheem Sterling uh, we, we know. I mean, um, uh, Premier League Bayern Mayang in, in some situation he, he, opted, he should have sh- um, shoot uh, um, to actually get get a goal for Chelsea yesterday, but he opted to actually pass, which I feel uh, was not right for for from me, from me yesterday. So I feel um, the, the manager will not come home to, to to the pitch to actually play. It is the players that will actually play for him. So I feel it's not it's not about the manager's um, purpose. It's not it's not about the manager's problem, it's about the, the, the players as well. Okay. Away from Chelsea this morning, uh, let's talk uh, about the pictures that is coming up today. Barcelona. We host Victoria. 8 p.m. in Euro time. Uh, and also in Milan, we host the Bayern Munich. We are looking forward to that match also. Frankfurt, we host Sporting CP. I'm all sport. Uh, we'll be in your home stadium as they work on Marseille. Uh, what is your prediction uh, to this uh, of, uh, to this picture of, of today? Yeah, I'm starting from the game between Barcelona and uh, Victoria Pizem. I feel for Barcelona, they are doing well right now. I mean, Robert Lewandowski firing from one cylinder. Rafinha getting a couple of assists and a goal as well. So I feel Barcelona um, uh, at the camp now uh, today. They should be actually uh, they should actually get a win against Victoria Pizem. Uh, this should this shouldn't be a difficult one for Barcelona. I'm tipping Barcelona to win this game. And for Inter Bayern Munich, um, this will be, will be a tricky one for 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 Bayern Munich. They've not been doing well so lately. They've um, they played uh, actually uh, two draws from their last two games in the German Bundesliga and playing against uh, an Inter side that have not been doing well in in this uh, in the Italian city uh, this season. I mean, they lost to their city rivals over the weekend th- by three goals to two. So I feel um this game uh, 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 if there should be a winner, I feel Bayern Munich will actually edge this. Not 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 the kind of um, Bayern Munich that that will know that will actually g- um, get a couple of goals, maybe three or four goals. But I think they will actually edge this out. Maybe a two-one win or a three-one win for uh, FC Bayern Munich. So, all that picture for today. Ayaz, we host Rangers. Napoli, we host Liverpool. Atletico Madrid, we host FC Porto. And Club Rojo, we host Bayern Leverkusen. We hope to see a, a lot of interesting match today also. And then uh, tomorrow, 
it will be the time for the UEFA Europa League where we see the likes of Arsenal, the likes of United and the host of other partnering out here tomorrow. But don't you worry, on Friday we will be coming with exclusive results coming from the world of Champions League and also Europa, uh, Europa League and also uh, the Conference League as well. And uh, it's time for us to say our BYE on today's show. But don't you worry, on Friday it will be the Tango is Friday edition on EOB Live. Uh, like I said earlier, we will be broadcasting live from the city of Ipado. My name is Ayomi Adeniyi. And I have to thank uh, what my guest, uh, David Ibibami, for coming through. We hope to see you uh, on Friday. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's, it's always a pleasure to actually talk sports. Also, my studio manager, Sheyi Oyewale. Thank you uh, for all the production media crew. I say thank you. We'll see you on Friday. And to us, uh, our followers and on uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, and uh, our YouTube channel, and the likes of Mario, Mario Tokpe, uh, we say thank you for your contribution. Aki Alabi Samuel, we say thank you for your contribution also. Ola Wale, Ola Komi, uh, I say thank you very much. We hope to see you on Friday where we give you uh, a lot of interesting story coming from the world of sport. Uh, we we'll talk about Formula One, tennis, and uh, football, and of course basketball. Stay blessed. Uh, we are to Friday.